Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome to another Mega Test. I bet you guys weren't expecting to see one of these in a long time. Well, the reason why I decided to do this is because I saw on Twitter that uh, there's this trending topic yesterday at this uh, game studio. Tell of Tales was, I guess, quitting making video games for some reason. And it was the reason why is because this game, Sunset, apparently it flopped. Like it only sold like four thousand copies or something. Um, which, for you, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that that's not quite a lot. And so I decided to check out the game. It got pretty decent reviews. Um, the lowest uh, rating that I saw was on Steam, which gave it a seven out of ten. It got pretty decent reviews all around, though. Um, despite the fact it just didn't get very much publicity. Apparently, I don't think that. I have heard of it. I mean, I might have heard of it. Might have, someone might have mentioned it in passing and I might have not really paid attention to it or something. But anyway, without further ado, this is a game that takes place in the 70s. You play as an American who ends up, for some reason or another, ends up becoming a house, like, maid type person in somewhere, I believe, in South America. And, um, it's, it's kind of, it, from what I've seen so far, I did a little bit of testing. It's kind of like a, uh, a journey style game uh what's what's the other one uh gone home where it's more about the interactions and just interacting with stuff more than just like the actual quote unquote gameplay itself so if that bothers you uh you might want to check elsewhere also i've been going on for nearly two minutes explaining this also i should mention that i got this the, at the time that i'm recording this and literally at the time that i'm recording this this is on sale i got it for 50 percent off for 10 bucks but once this goes live i'm assuming that the sale will be over and you have to buy 20 dollars us full price for it just keep that in mind but anyway after further ado this is 360 controller compatible and i guess we'll start so uh once we hit the start button she's gonna say something so i'll quiet down for a second five years at harrison college living on tips and whatever my Aunt Anita could save up. Five years to get a piece of paper that says I'm an engineer. Also, I can clean this man's house. Yeah, and that's your little story there for a little bit. So apparently she was an, uh, a university student. She became an engineer for some reason. And then for one reason or another, she ended up becoming a maid type person. I guess that's just how things work out sometimes. Also, I've noticed, like, when you start the game for, like, a little bit, like, as soon as you start the game, like, it starts getting, like, it's, like, the game, like, many crashes for a second, it's not responding. I'm not quite sure if that's because I'm running on a, you know, not-so-great laptop, or if that's just how the game is itself. I'm running on low, by the way, low graphical quality, because I don't have a really good laptop, and quite frankly, that's just... How it's gonna have to be for a little bit. Anyway, so with the 360 controller in mind, if you hit the right trigger button, you can look at, you can see what you have to do. So what we have now to do is to clean floors, move boxes, and open blinds or open blinds. So I guess we'll do that first and foremost. These boxes here. Gabriel Ortega, that's a gentleman moving into the swanky apartment. Wonder what he's like. And as per usual, I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her. Uh, or, the character of the Judith voice, you know, Judith from Tales of Vespier, because that's the voice that I gave her, because that's the most feminine voice that I can do. Uh, carry boxes upstairs to this bedroom. So I have to hit B. Okay, but by the way, the whole point of a mega test is to, this is basically a blind playthrough, so um, I don't really have very much experience with that. I did a little bit, I played a couple of minutes of it, you know, off recording just to make sure that everything would go uh, according to plan to make sure that this game would actually run because I don't have an OP PC or anything and yeah so keep in mind that I am playing this on a low grade PC so like if it appears a little framey or anything like that it's probably more so my computer's prop fault than the actual game itself whatever the case may be now I remember when I was testing we could like interact with this hmm. setting up a lamp nice I hope Mr. Ortega doesn't find my unpacking the furniture Okay. Now, what else do we need to do? Okay, so we need to clean the floors. There's a vacuum over here. What is this? Yeah, so as you can tell, it's kind of like this... It has, like, your Gone Home style thing to it. Carefully vacuum the floors and spray a uh, bright scent in the air. Freshening. Okay, then. We got a little whistling song here. What is this? Uh, clean floors. Now we need to open the blinds. Okay, so this is basically just very, very simple. Apparently... 
from reading in the backstory though, there's like a civil war going on. There's like a dictator going on, and we have to like do like these daily things. And while we're doing stuff, we learn more and more about the civil war that's going on, things of that sort. Uh, but yeah, these are not blinds. <laughs> I'm stupid, as you can tell. Um, let's see. So where exactly are these blinds that we need to open? It's getting a little framey. That's all right, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs. No, these are the blinds that we need to open, correct? Right? I guess so. Open blinds. All right, looks like we completed everything. Every the skyline hasn't changed much. S the silhouette's still the same so far. But the city has a new energy. And I can feel that deep down. The industrial quickening of war. People organized by hierarchy. Aimed at each other with purpose. Instead of breathing and flowing through one another like a city's supposed to feel. I'm not quite sure if like going in outside is gonna like start anything, so that's why I was gonna let her finish her conversation or her dialogue beforehand. Oh, we can see our shadow. That's cool. That's cool. Kind of awkward walking animation a little bit, I think, but whatever. Anyway. I'm going to give my honest opinions about this. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything just because, you know, uh, this game didn't sell very well. Uh, judging from the reviews, though, and everything, this seems to be a legitimately decent game. The lowest I've seen, as I said, is like a 7 out of 10, which is, in my opinion, not a very bad game. But, you know, if you're one of those people who only prefers, like, uh, 8 out of 10s, 9 out of 10s, you might want to look elsewhere. Uh, hasta la victoria siempre. So, until the Victoria always? I don't know, I took four years of Spanish from 8th grade to my junior year of high school, but I don't really know very much. I guess we can't really do anything, we're just, just staring, getting a nice view of everything, taking everything in. Nice little area. Nicely well done area so far, like, what, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say something, but I can't quite figure out the words for it. So. Now, what am I gonna do? Do I just leave? Is it time to go? Okay, sure. Do I just... Oh, what's this? Oh, if I look closely, I can read the title of this book. Now, uh, I guess this is just a little tutorial for you. If you hit the left trigger, you can zoom in a little bit. Zoom to collect. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Zoom to collect. Okay, that's cool. Can we, like... Is there a mirror in here? We can see ourselves, I think. If we just angle ourselves correctly. Kind of dark, but that's what our character looks like in case you didn't really notice on the left side of the screen when we started this thing. What is this? Okay, light on. Clap on, clap off the clapper. Let's go ahead and wash our hands from doing such a dirty job of cleaning. Can we stop X to stop water? Okay. I guess we didn't really wash our hands. We sort of just turned on the water and just stared at it for a little bit. <laughs> kind of wasting water there. Uh... I was going to make some type of joke there, but for some reason I can't. The first, the fourth floor patio, I guess it looks, when you enter into an area, it, it tells you everything. So, was this the main entrance? Like, I think all we really need to do is just leave. Maybe? Wait, didn't we walk in through here? No, we walked in through... I'm slightly confused. I thought, I could have, maybe this is a door. What is this? Can we interact with this? Okay, call elevator. Alrighty then. Next. I guess it's gonna... That's how we proceed through the thing. Oh, I guess we should um, look at the diary while we're at... May 30th, 1972, St. Joan of Arc. Joan de Arc, like the video game. Let's go ahead and look at the diaries while we're at it, because we do have this feature. What does it say? Okay. So, St. May 30th, 1972... St. Joan of Arc, the new tenant works, wants me to clean once a week while he's out an hour before sunset. We may never even meet face to- Oh, I'm supposed to do this in the truth. The new tenant wants me to clean once a week while he's out an hour before sunset. We may never meet face to face, which suits me fine. There's kind of peace slipping into this role, coming in during the off hours to restore things, wiping away the grime. I just- I'm just another set of hands. Okay, now, uh, let's go to previous, because we didn't really read this one. May 21st, 1972, Pentecost. Five years in Harrison... Co okay, this is the one that we've already heard. The skyline hasn't changed much, blah, blah, blah. Gabriel Ortega, what's the gentleman moving into... 
Okay, I see. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and continue. The new tenant wants me to clean once a week while he's out. An hour before sunset. We may never even meet face to face. Which suits me fine. There's a kind of peace slipping into this role. Coming in during the off hours to restore things. Wiping away the grime. I'm just another set of hands. Okay, so I guess the uh, the diary just lets you do it yourself. Like, not really do it yourself. To check to see if, um... Like, if you were... If it was too loud. Or... I never even checked to see if there were, like, subtitles. By the way, you can't actually access this menu with a controller. You have to legitimately hit... Manually hit escape on your controller. Let's go to options, see if there's subtitles that we can turn on. Um... It doesn't look like it. I don't think that there are... Oh, there are... Oh, there are subtitles. Let's go ahead and select that. Why don't we? And there we go. I don't know why I didn't check that. Normally I do. Okay, so what do we have to do today? All right, we have the dust frames on desks, polished silver, wash dishes. So, you know, I guess we'll start out by washing the dishes. I guess the kitchen is upstairs, maybe? Who knows? It's getting really... I mean, it's, it's sunset, so I don't know why I should say, oh, it's getting really dark. It's That's rather obvious, I believe, but it is it is what it is. Now, where exactly is this kitchen? I don't think it's normal exactly to have a kitchen on the second floor, but I don't remember seeing one on the main floor, so... The second floor foyer or foyer? Can we... I guess we have to, like... Can we interact with this door? I guess not. Foyer or foyer, depending on where you're from. I believe that foyer is the more French-sounding version, and... Wish I could go through, but the doors are controlled electronically. Very fancy. I guess for 1972, that is. Oh, was I mean, well, then again, for someone's home, like, I don't think anyone really has, like, automatic doors in their own home. I feel like I'm an idiot, and I'm completely overlooking the kitchen. Which, I guess it seems I was. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and clean these. A low dish is in a dishwasher. Wash each glass carefully by hand. Yeah, I do hand washing. It's gross! No, not really. Actually, they're... De depending on where you are... Uh... You're not gonna say anything? No? Uh, I guess we can stop the water. Do that. Nothing. Alright, but... Yeah, depending on where you are, you might not, uh, do... You might not be doing... Using dishwashers. Like, I know, like, in Japan, for example, it's more common for people to hand wash things than getting a dishwasher like that, that's one thing if you ever if you ever move to Japan you might want to get used to the fact that a lot of places simply don't have dishwashers for one reason or another like they have like these like I've seen like these like mini like dryer dishwasher type thing like like it's like a dish dryer but it's really small and it only does one like what do we need to do now dust frames on desk and polished silver Alrighty then. So, there was a there is a tree as tall as this one next to the school for black kids back home. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay then. <sighs> Let's go ahead and polish this silver. Why don't we? Please. Uh. Oh, this is just a light. What silver? We Nude woman, dressed woman, let me guess which one Senor Ortega likes best. Uh, what are you talking about? That's pretty. I guess money does buy taste. Oh, okay, there's paintings over there. Hmm, this was, I believe this was developed by, I believe they're Swedish? Swedish developers? Either that or Belgium. Maybe they're from Belgium. Which actually are two very different countries, but... You know, I'm sure that if you're from Belgium or Sweden, you're going to get mad at me, but that's what it is. Okay, so there's this desk that we need to clean, right? Right? Dust frames on desk. Now, you're going to have to, you're going to have to forgive me. I'm only a slight, I'm only a college educated person, don't have very much common sense. So, do they mean like these picture frames? Dust, okay. 1739. It keeps me up at night, wondering if this is some kind of 
destiny. I moved halfway around the world to end up as a housekeeper? I could have done that back home. Most people in Baltimore can't imagine a black woman as anything else. I left the U.S. to get away from that jaundice perspective, from stupidity and hate. And here I am, trapped in a country going to shit, cleaning this man's house. Okay, well, I mean, I'm in, I live in Northern Virginia. I'm not too far from Baltimore, but, you know. I don't know why I felt like saying that. I just did. I didn't go to Baltimore all the time. Some, Well, not all the time. Like, let's say if I want to, like, fly out of, like, BWI or Bush, Baltimore, Washington International. You can always do that. It's one of the airports around here. Um, what am I supposed to be doing now? Polish silver. So what, what silver am I supposed to be polishing? I feel like I keep saying this, but it's true. I am dumb. Slightly. Well, I guess it's a bit more than... Oh, there's buttons here. Uh, can we interact with these? Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Let's look at this. March 30th? Uh, May. Or, oh. It's, um. It's, uh. This is martes, is Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday, the 30th of May. Yay! <laughs> I I don't I don't do Spanish, lazy noodle man. I, I I you know don't know very. I don't remember very much, or rather I I probably remember more than I think I do. But can I not? Hey, there's a light. What happens if we press this? I don't know why I expected it to do anything else other than turn on the light. I don't know. I was, I was expecting it to be like super cool and like maybe like turn on the light and. Is this silver that we need to... This is the game area. These are silver, right? Or... Light on? No. I feel like... Okay. Okay, it's very good that I chose not to be a maid for a job, because if that were the case, I would probably be fired, because... <laughs> what so what is the silver ready? Oh, the silverware. Okay, okay. <laughs> you see. I okay. The sun is set, I'm going home. Alright. Where where do I go now? Oh I'm going home. Where do I go now? That's okay, brilliant deductioning there, Mega. I'm just Okay, I think we'll have time to do just one more day, and then we'll call it quits for the whatchamacallit, let's call the elevator, uh, next. Call it quits for the day, for this video type sort of thing. So yeah, as you can see, it's not really like, like a game, game, game. June 13th, 1972, St. Anthony of Padua. Padua. Not like a game, game type game, it's more like interacting with stuff type thing, so if that tickles your fancy, I never thought I'd ever use that word in a video, if that interests you, Spark your interest and go ahead and play it, I suppose. Seems interesting so far. Um, yeah, we're in... Uh, I need to check the country that we're in. Um, yeah, I believe we're somewhere in South America. And there's like a dictatorship and stuff. And we used to be a university student. Yeah, so, like, what am I trying to get at here? Basically, what I'm trying to say here is that... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pretty much. Okay. Oh, I need to hit continue, first of all. Ortega has more books than furniture. Like he's building up bunker walls made of precious words. You can feel the depression in this place. How am I supposed to scrub that out? Senor Ortega might be wealthy, but there's not much left to spend his money on. I suppose that can get rather boring, having so much money not knowing what to do. Clean up office, unpack office box, clean bar. Okay, I think I should be able to handle this, even someone as challenged as me. Okay, so... What the heck happened here? Hang poster on wall. Money and art sure make a cute couple. I severely hope that this music isn't copywritten. Alright, where's the music? Where's the music box? Music box. It's somewhere over here. 
I highly doubt it's copyrighted, but you never know. Yeah, this game is progressively getting more and more laggy as it progresses. Can we turn this off, please? Where's the radio? I'm assuming it's playing on some type of radio. Maybe? Or maybe it's just gone. Did that count? Yeah, it's like, okay, so unpack office box. Office box. Oh, there's a radio, okay. We need you off, please. There we go. Normally wouldn't mind having music playing, but it's sort of just like, I don't know. I don't want, like, freaking whatever to... What is this? Let's zoom in. Uh, in art and industry. Interesting, okay, whatever. Let's see. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and clean up the bar. I think I think we'll do that, because I, lack of common sense, can't figure out what an art box is. There's no bar near the kitchen. Maybe it's an upstairs type bar. Unless this is the bar, but I highly doubt it. What's this? I can always use some extra bread and Ortega won't miss it. Oh, pfft. We're not doing that. We're not evil. I'm not gonna take his money. I, for all I know, that could be, like, the worst decision in the game. Like, you do it and then, like, everything goes terribly and then you die. Like, you change the coins and then, like, he's like, Oh, how do I know I can trust you? You take the coins and then he blows your head off and then you die. That's, like, the secret to the bad ending. Or maybe you get, like, an axe ending. Like, in Nine Hours, Nine Person, Nine Doors, just, like, get, like, an axe and just chop me up. Or <laughs> something. Oh, boy. The axe ending. That was, that was something. The master bedroom. I highly doubt there's a bar in here. Yeah, this game is starting to progressively get more and more framey as things go on. Maybe I should have gone with, uh, the minimal instead of low for graphic quality. I guess that's all part of having a not-so-great computer. Can we go in here, please? Whoa, like her eyes. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to possess your soul. Goodness, you got those bright yellow eyes. She's she's peering into the depths. Oh, here's the bar. Okay, let's go ahead and clean. Let's go ahead and clear this off. The wet bar. Clean up the bar. The only thing that gives him any joy are the books and the little artifacts he rescues. In the Republic of Anchuria, Everyone suffers on affliction of the soul, rich and poor alike. For some, it's meat on the table. For others, it's watching canvas burn. Okie dokie then. Now, now I need to unpack this office box. Is this the office box that I need to... Mm. I wonder what's in this box. Another precious artifact? Personal belongings? Love letters? Nope. I guess not. Uh, boxy... Oh, how about this box that I conveniently happened to miss? Rich people get pretty gifts. Make a nice display of the gifts. This looks expensive, but man, is it ugly. What a waste. Huh, what is that? Is that like a fish? It is a fish. Is it... It's, it looks like a fish blowing bubblegum? What? What is... Is it like... Okay. I mean, I'm not, don't knock it until you see it. I mean, some people have, I mean, people have different tastes in art. The art gallery has been closed since Mi Miraflores came to power. No more opening parties for Gabriel Ortega. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, call the elevator. I think from here, we're going to go ahead and, uh, end things off for the video. So, interesting little video. Well, June 22nd, 1972, Thomas More. If you want to continue, you can always buy it yourself. As I said, it was on sale the last time that I bought it, or when I bought it, but by the time this video goes live, that won't be on sale anymore. Um, and, you know, don't think that, you know, buying the game is going to, like, magically make, like, the company start making more games, because it doesn't quite work like that. <laughs> I think from what I, from reading their, like, article about this and everything, I'm pretty sure that they're done with games for now anyway but 
Whatever the case may be, um, I guess we'll go ahead and end things off here. So if you like this video, this series of videos, please feel free to leave a like if you thought it was cool. Please feel free to subscribe and join the Elven Brotherhood today. Also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Mega Shadow Fist. I'll be sure to leave that in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this Mega Shadow, Mega Shadow Fist sending out. Bye!